from the Penn Libraries. Hi everyone. Um, so my name is Jabril, as I uh, said earlier. I am TA for CS110 as well as computer science minor and a COGSI major. Um, all this means that I spend about 85% of my time on Piazza. So I figured that I would talk to you guys about it and say what I actually really like about the fact that I use this resource so much. So um, these are some of the classes I've used Piazza in. Um, so you can see there are a lot of them. This is when I ran out of space, so I stopped adding classes on. Um, so I love Piazza as a student because um, you can get help in times you wouldn't be able to otherwise, so especially when there are undergrad TAs. Um, Piazza blows up at about 2 o'clock every morning the night before the homework is due in my one, uh, CS 121 class. Um, it gets you the responses quickly, so especially for classes that are kind of time sensitive or you'll, you'll be working on something and you can't go on until you figure out this problem, um, you can get the problem and not have to stop the homework for like a whole day until you can go to office hours. Um, also, as a TA, I love Piazza because it allows us to take care of some of the easier questions immediately um, without having to deal with them in office hours and we can spend more time in office hours focusing on more difficult questions. Um, so I think it's great for the students and the TAs. Um, so as a student, some of the other things I like about it are you can post anonymously if you don't want the other students knowing that you have like a student question. Um, so if I was like, I really don't understand what this is and I know we went over it six times and I don't want everyone else to know that I don't know what it is, um, I can post it anonymously. I can post private messages, um, which is really important for computer science classes um, in which you don't want to share what answers you got, but you need to check something that's like wrong about the answers. And I imagine. In a lot of other classes I take, that would also be really useful. Um, you can ask follow-up questions if the TA or the instructor posts something that you don't understand entirely. You can ask again, say, I'm not entirely sure what you meant by this, can you clarify? Um, and students can answer, which is great, because it just has a whole like, entirely large group of people who are also helping each other out. And you can see kind of conversations happening in classes like that have like 400 people. Um, so as a TA, so I'm a TA for CS110, as I said. There are 56 of us um, who TA the class. It's a small army. Um, <laughs> it's a medium-sized army, actually. And um, I like it because the TAs can come together and collaborate. So if you see something that a TA wrote and you want to expand on it, you don't have to make a new post that no one's ever going to look at. You can edit their post, and all of you can come together and, and change the answer to make it the best answer possible. Um, you can change the visibility of posts. So if someone posts it anonymously, and you say, actually, this is a question that probably is fine for everyone to see and would be really helpful. You can, I think we all, um, as TAs, ask the students first, but then we say, is it, you know, would it be okay if I make this public? And the students often say, like, yeah, that's fine, I just did it because I didn't know if I was going to get in trouble. Um, and so then you make it public, and then other people are able to see that. You can endorse answers that students gave. If they gave a good answer, you can say, yeah, this is right, and it will just show up as a little green thing. Um, and you can reach the entire class. If you need to make sure that everyone sees something, you can, but no matter what their email preferences are, you can email everyone immediately. So one of the reasons why I know my, the professors that I TA for love Piazza is because it gets rid of a lot of the emails that you would get from students um, and gets them all in one concentrated place. Um, and students can do that too, whereas they're not getting constant emails by the class. They can just go and check Piazza. You can get like a daily roundup. Um, but if there's something crucial, you can bypass those email settings and make sure everyone sees something immediately. So I'm gonna, I set up an example Piazza site. Um, so I'm just gonna log in real quick. Okay, so here's the fake one. Um, so <laughs> the reason I set this up is because I don't want to like put other students on blast and like show them the like things that they posted. So I made a fake one. Um, so you'll see that the the people in it are like the me as a professor, um, student one, student two, TA one, and my boyfriend, um, who I made help me with this. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to quickly go through some of the examples. 
So you can see this is what it looks like from a, from a professor's point of view. It looks very similar from a student's point of view. Um, but this just allows me to do a couple more things. So if someone has no idea what's going on and they post something, you'll see it'll be red and it hasn't been answered yet. Um, and then I can type in something, I'll just type in answer, um, and submit, and then that'll get posted and it won't be written anymore. Um, this has an unresolved follow-up, so a student said, sure. I, so I, this is, I asked if I, it was okay to change to public. The student said, sure, that's fine. Um, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm actually going to change visibility of post to entire class, submit. Um, I asked a poll, which was, say I'm a professor I want to change my office hours. I asked what office hour times would be best. You can see the answers, as I figured I'd be realistic and say that no one wanted Friday office hours. Because um, I'm a student, I know how this works. Um, <laughs> So these are just some of the easy things to do. I just wanted to kind of make a dynamic site because I think it's easier to understand and you can kind of wrap your brain around what it actually looks like. Um, so this has a lot of information that's just what a student would ask, um, a kind of random question. Um, my boyfriend posted an article about hedgehogs. Um, if you want to share something, you, you don't have to get it. You don't have to post something that needs a response. You can just post a note, um, share cool things. So that is the site, and I also want to show a couple of cool things that we've done in the computer science class at TA. Um, so we recently had a homework to build a software to encrypt a message and then decrypt the message. So um, we made a Piazza site to, um, and I've eliminated everyone's names, so you don't have to worry about like trying to not see who's doing it. Um, so you, you post the encrypted message and a student has to post and decrypt it, so this is actually part of the homework to test it out and see if yours is working. Um, so you can see the encrypted message looks like gibberish. The, de the decrypted message says, happy hump day, almost Halloween. Um, this one says, I love office hours, which I really like because I do office hours. <laughs> um, and the last one, someone will try to mess with everyone and say, error, this is not correctly decrypted, winky face. So, <laughs> You can see it allows for a class, so CS110 has 100, it has two sections of 200 people each, there are 56 TAs, um, so it's huge, it's like bigger than my entire high school, um, which I've never thought of before, it's really scary. Uh, so it's, without this, I think the class would be about 25 times as difficult, um, because for a class that is this information heavy and is this big, it's really great to have this ability to interact with people Piazza Hover also works in smaller classes. I have a class that's about 15 people that uses a Piazza site. I have a class of 30 people. I love them in all of it. Um, so yeah, that's, this is what I do with my life now. <laughs>